From a hundred million dollar mansion, an Air Drake jet, and even an eight figure jewelry collection, Drake likes to buy everything. He's even went on to spend $10 million on his car collection, starting out with his Bugatti Veyron that ran him $2.2 million. It's one of only 12 that was ever produced in the entire world. It's not only extremely rare, but it's also the first car to ever reach over 250 miles an hour, and it accelerates to 60 in only two and a half seconds. Although Drake continued purchasing, as he would buy himself a customized Rolls-Royce Cullinan with a unique design throughout the entire car, which is completely blacked out with leather seats and exterior. The Rolls-Royce also features its iconic coach doors that open backwards, and you know Drake had to add on the starlight headliner for the roof of the car for during night drives. However, the car that looks the craziest in his collection is the Devel 16, costing another $2.5 million, and it tops out at nearly 350 miles an hour, accelerating to 60 in only 1.8 seconds. The car's design looks like it's from the future with two jet exhausts coming out of the back, but Drake would continue buying supercars, like his $500,000 Lamborghini Aventador, which tops it at 217 miles an hour. It's just another car, however, that sits in his garage collecting dust, similar to his $1.5 million Ferrari. With only 500 units of this model made worldwide, Drake has laughed on several occasions due to how little this car ever gets driven in the real world, yet that wouldn't even top the luxury of his Maybach G6 50, arguably Mercedes' most special ride ever created. With only 99 of them ever made, it costed Drake $1.3 million to get his hand on it. All of the other vehicles in Drake's exclusive collection range from another two Rolls Royces, both being the Wraith and Phantom, a special edition Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren, multiple Bentleys, and a McLaren 675LT. Outside of his cars, Drake loves spending his money, which is why he created a solid gold pair of the OVO Air Jordan. Wrapped in 24 karat gold, these sneakers are truly one of one and even weigh over 100 pounds. This costed Drake $2.1 million for the shoes, and unfortunately the shoes are unwearable due to them being completely gold and also weighing over 100 pounds. While the decision to drop $2 million on a pair of shoes you can't even wear sounds dumb, this is actually Drake's unique way of investing in solid gold. However, with Drake growing up and discovering Tupac's music, he was the inspiration for Drake to even begin rapping. So once once Drake got the money, he would go on to purchase two of Tupac's chain pendants, and it drained over $600,000 from his bank account. However, when Drake would catch wind that Tupac's crown ring was up for auction in 2023, he knew that he had to get it, as Tupac wore this ring on his last public appearance on the MTV Music Award, as he would sadly pass only a few days after that photo. During the auction, Drake continued raising the bid until he finally purchased the ring for $1.02 million, but Drake would not be done with his ring collection, as it's no secret he's a huge fan of the NBA and more importantly, the Toronto Raptors. So when Toronto won the championship title in 2019, the team actually gave him an official championship ring. But this wasn't even enough for him either, as he would go on to purchase a second ring commissioned with 30 karat diamonds for the price of 200 grand. But everything we have mentioned so far is nothing compared to the Air Drake private jet, instantly recognized by his OVO owl on the tail of the plane, and including the blue sky wrapped artwork that was designed by Virgil Abloh, it is an incredibly luxurious plane as on the inside it has multiple private suites, two living rooms, and even a meeting lounge. This plane can fit up to 50 people on board. It's actually one of the biggest private jets ever created in the world. Despite the plane being valued at 180 million, Drake would actually get the plane for free since he's partnered with the company titled Cargo Jet. They used Air Drake as a marketing campaign for their company, but alongside his ridiculous private jet, Drake has also been seen loading up on real estate, such as his limestone mansion in Toronto that he had custom built for $100 million. He surrounded the property with a 15-foot wall. Drake knows that he needs to keep himself secure for whenever he's at home in Toronto. Inside of the mansion, it has just about everything you could ever need, from installing a full-size basketball court to play whenever he wants, an indoor pool and spa, and even a movie theater. It wouldn't be a Drake house without a recording studio on the inside as well. So whenever he has lyrics that come to him in his head, he can jump downstairs and start recording instantly. He also has a large lounge area, designed lavishly with unique seating and marble flooring. But with Drake being a huge fan of the NBA, one of his favorite rooms is his Jersey Hall. The Jersey Hall features many signed jerseys from all-time great players, most notably Kobe Bryant and LeBron. Although Drake's master bedroom is huge, he has a massive bed, a unique design that speaks luxury. Then heading into the master bathroom can 
continues the marble theme. A giant bathtub and vanity, which then leads into his walk-in closet that stores tons of shoes on the wall and drawers all over for the rat mogul to pick out his outfit. But you know Drake has got to own more than just one house. So he splurged 90 million on his Beverly Hills estate that is fit with 10 bedrooms and 20 bathrooms. While it isn't as flashy as his house back in Toronto, the home comes with just about everything that he needs outside of the basketball court. Overlooking Los Angeles, the home would be a dream to live in. But he also has another house in LA known as the YOLO property. This is worth $12 million at this time. While the house is incredibly designed and speaks luxury, the back of the home contains a tennis and basketball court, including giant swimming rock caves. From having an 80-foot water slide in the back, an entire area to relax in inside of the cave, it is no wonder that Drake had to get his hands on this home. However, with Drake spending so much money on himself, he also likes to give back to fans that show up to concerts, handing out many designer bags to lucky guests over the years. However, one fan created a sign saying that he spent all of his furniture money on a concert ticket, which left Drake feeling pretty bad for him. So he gave the fan $50,000. OVO for life, right? My manager, my manager is my DJ, right? Is he over there? He's right here. You know what, my man, your furniture money, I'm gonna give you 50 bands tonight because I love you. Make sure he gets his money tonight. However, one of the weirdest things Drake ever done with his money was spending $100 million on an abandoned amusement park titled Luna Luna. This used to be a famous park back in the 1980s. It has special art pieces created by the designers, but it was shut down over legal reasons 30 years ago. However, Drake put in the money to revive the park and he opened it back up. You can go visit it today, but it will cost you a pretty penny, as Drake would need to reinvest this money in even more expensive jewelry, such as when Drake purchased the one one of one chain that Frank Ocean wore to the Met Gala in 2021. Created with 18 karat white gold over the 9,000 diamonds, the cost of this chain ran Drake $1.9 million. Drake even showed up to an NBA game to display his new shiny piece. Although Drake spent a ridiculous amount of money on a specially created and designed watch that features a spinning table in the center of it, Drake customized this version of the watch alone, ran him $600,000. Then with Drake, having a symbolic OWL OVO logo for his brand, you already know he had to go out and get it iced out to hang on one of his chains. So he commissioned the OVO OWL for a pendant, creating it from solid gold and encrusting it with diamonds all over, causing the chain value to go up $200,000. But then he linked up with fellow singer Pharrell Williams to buy some of the pieces from him. This totaled up to another $2 million spent on jewelry. Pharrell would also include an entirely gold-wrapped Sony PSP for Drake as a gift. However, Drake's most expensive jewelry that he ever purchased was a 42 diamond necklace. He calls it previous engagements. Now this represents one diamond for each time that he thought of getting engaged in his past relationship. And the necklace is created now out of 351 carats of diamond. It's also created out of 18 carat white gold. This is an extremely expensive and rare piece because each diamond was hand selected for the year. So the final cost of the piece was 12 and a half million dollars. One of the weirdest pieces of jewelry, however, was a pink diamond in his teeth. Celebrities are in love with icing themselves out wherever they can, and most opt for a diamond grill. However, Drake would stray away from that and instead get a singular pink diamond, running his pockets for 15 grand. However, he would end up losing this diamond shortly after. 